You know, every colleague that I've talked to and mentor says in the building process, um, you know, you can't prepare for everything. Um, and it's really in that third year where you really start to set the foundation for what you're going to become, um, which is exciting news for me because I think that certainly over the first couple of years we've made some big strides. Um, but I think overwhelmingly the one area that was lacking was just sort of like the upperclassmen leadership, um, you know, setting the tone for, for team culture and stuff. And I think now that we've got a, a, a large class of juniors and our sophomores who were very seasoned by getting a lot of playing time last year, um, we've got a number of kids that now I think feel like they have some ownership over the program, um, which inevitably is gonna, I think, um, you know, really make a difference um, to our younger players. Um, our younger players are going to maybe be allowed to at least um, be younger players for a little bit longer. I think our, our sophomores and our juniors can probably attest to the fact that they didn't really have time to be freshmen at all um, because they were such an integral part of the team um, from the minute they stepped on campus. I think that it was very challenging at first. Obviously coming in as all freshmen is a difficult thing to be a part of. We don't have any leadership or any like upperclassmen to help lead us through, so we kind of had to figure it out all on our own. But um, definitely from year one to year two, you saw everything building, the camaraderie, the chemistry, all that coming together, and it's kind of amazing to see how we formed. And coming in now to this year is crazy. It's crazy to see how close we all got and see how we were together on the field, and now that we're able to welcome our freshmen, and just the energy, everything so much built up. We went through a lot together, and I think that also brought us a lot closer in the end of the day. The team has gotten a lot closer, uh, even since I've been here, since I was on my official visit in my senior year of high school to where we are now. I just see like such more team chemistry, and everybody's friends, everybody's family, and we just all love each other, and we just all want to be the best program we can be. And I think that that's coming along a lot more. People are, everybody has the same vision now. There were, in the years before, there were maybe a couple people who maybe weren't all for it, but I think this year's team is 100% dedicated just to be the best we can. Everything's different. It just feels so completely different than it did last year in such a good way. We're getting a little bit more sort of a, tr a traditional, um, you know, upperclassmen versus underclassmen um, makeup, and I think that that's going to be really helpful moving forward. I think now our, our, our class of juniors are going to be able to lead a lot more by example and also sort of do those those little mini coaching sessions that sometimes the you know the the assistant coaches the head coaches and, and all of our auxiliary staff just don't have time to put in to all of the younger kids and all of their needs and I think that that's going to be a big benefit for us this year. The confidence, the confidence of our team. People were nervous we had a lot of sophomores playing last year and juniors too and year one wasn't a very good year for us because we really didn't figure it out yet then last year we did figure it out, but we just didn't know how to finish. This year is about finishing. We want to win. That's the bottom line. We're sick of losing by a goal. We're sick of losing by two goals. The games that we could have pulled out, and I think this year is the year it's going to change. I think we're shooting to be competitive. I, want, I think we want to be a competitive Division I program by the time I leave here and like be in, have a name for ourselves and have UMass Lowell Women's Lacrosse be known.